Hey guys, welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. It has been a while, not really much to say other than I hope you enjoy. Well, it looks like we are kicking off 2021 with my fourth heron fishing pet, which is pretty ridiculous for under 11 mil XP, but there we go. Four clues from fishing to open and see if we get anything nice. Didn't get a hard clue, that would have been nice to uh, round off the set, but we'll start with the beginner. I've already got that, I think. Easy, nothing, nothing, nothing. I tell a lie, I didn't actually have the sandwich lady hat, so nice to get one unique at least, I guess. Time for another high octane clue opening, all five tiers of clues from fishing. Can we get a unique item or maybe a master clue? No, no, no. I think I may already have those. And a mimic, that is cool, I will go and do that now. So it turns out I did not have these van braces and that actually finishes the ancient blessed dragon hide set which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, let's go and do the mimic. My sixth mimic down, what can we get? Nothing much, but what can you expect from an elite clue really? First level of the video and the first level of 2021 coming in, that's 98 fishing. 1.2 mil XP to go until 99, that probably will end up being the next one on the account. Another elite clue from fishing, what can we get? A master, can we do it? We can, I actually don't think there are many steps I can't do now, so should have a really high completion rate on these masters going forward. Master clue complete, what can we get? Ah, absolutely nothing. That's a lot of nature runes, but I want to see the uniques, that's a shame. Ah, oh, that was a really successful trip, 28 kills I think, um, which is pretty good considering I'm not flicking at all, just being very lazy and only using Protect from Magic. Up to 437 kills overall now. So the KC is starting to get up there, surprise I haven't seen a Sarasaur drop yet. Really hoping I don't go dry here, I am quite keen to finish up God Wars as quickly as possible. So. Don't really feel like I have the patience for like another 100 hours of this if I was to go like four or five times the drop rate as I did at Zami, but we'll see. Not doing too badly so far. And it is time for the first 99 of 2021. 99 fishing coming in right about now. There we go. Four skills left to go until maxing. I'd like to say I'm on the home stretch, but um, a couple of these are rather slow. Mining and runecrafting in particular. I think just by virtue of it being the highest skill I've got left, um, agility will probably be the next one. Smithing will be relatively fast, but I do need to buy the rest of the gold ore um, for 99. I think I've got 96 banked, so not too bad. Uh, it's just a bit repetitive, obviously, having to purchase the ore uh, running back and forth at uh, Blast Furnace. But there we go, 99 fishing done and dusted. Very pleased to knock that one off the list. Yes, look at that, the Armadil crossbow, uh, 458 kills. I am delighted to get that. Um, that's gonna be my best in slot crossbow, I guess, until I get the Dragon Hunter crossbow, and that's only better for dragons anyway. So yeah, just the hilt to go, and I'll be done at this boss. I still haven't seen a Sarah Sword, which is funny, but ah, oh, absolutely chuffed to get that. Decided to come to Bandos and test out my Armadil crossbow here. Really enjoying the method, I have to say. This is only my second trip and uh, already getting up there in the kills. So yeah, this will be over 11 kills this trip, which is pretty nice. And the God Sword Shard as well. Just need the boots here. Um, would ideally like to get two pairs of boots. Um, one that I can turn into the Guardian boots, but um, since I've got all the other drops, I'll probably just go for one pair and hope that eventually they will change the Master Clue step. Um, so that you can use either Bandos boots or Guardian boots. That would be quite nifty. Hey, there we go. That is the 20 kill trip here at Bandos. I'm really pleased to reach that. It's certainly not going to be something I can do consistently. One thing that's a bit annoying is at the beginning of trips, if the minions are just whacking me too much and if they don't drop food, because I only bring in one angler and one brew, um, can mean I have to tell you quite early, which is frustrating, but yeah, if you get those early food drops and get into the swing of things, it's um, pretty consistent. I think, yeah, easily 15 kill trips. And if you get like a restore drop, um, yeah, and don't get hit around too much. Yeah, 
up to 20 I think is feasible. I don't think going much higher than that is going to be possible just because you can't fit really enough staminas into your inventory with the, the ratio of restores and stuff that you need but very enjoyable method I have to say. Definitely enjoying it. 98 agility so just one more level left to go not too much training for this skill which isn't the fastest in the world i think it's about 20 uh, hours left to go until 99 so we'll keep chipping away at that and hopefully get that this episode well would you look at that another shard off of grador shard number one this time my god this lag the worlds are pretty poor at the moment and it's not really helpful for a method that relies on being tick perfect i have to say and one from the minion as well. Very nice. Could end up with a whole blade just from one trip. That'd be cool. All the shards coming in. This is a different trip to the other one, but that is shard three. Just got the agility pet. No way. I'm about 500k off 99. Oh man, that is really cool. It's been such a long time since I got a scaling pet. I think, well, obviously other than the duplicate fishing pets that I've been getting. Um, I have still been going for the Tangle Root. I'm at 41 million farming XP without that, but I have been doing my farm runs every day, like tree runs and plenty of giant seaweed and stuff. But that is really cool to see. It's quite tempting to go back to Hallowed Sepulchre to get another 2000 tokens for the recolor. But I'm not sure how long that would take me and I'm pretty close to 99 now, so I may not do that, but Oh, I was not expecting that at all. That is really cool. These are my pets that I have currently if you were interested. So yeah, that's my third skilling pet and I've had four boss pets and then the chompy chick which is obviously quite easy to get. But yeah, very pleased with that. And here it is, the second 99 of the video. Not very often that, that happens, but very pleased to be getting this one done and dusted. That is 99 agility, which leaves me with three skills left to go until max. Um, which makes it feel closer than it actually is. Mining and runecrafting are abysmally slow. I think I'm going to leave smithing till last because I'll probably be doing a lot of mother load and obviously want to make use of the ores that I get there. But uh, yeah, just will continue to slowly chip away at these last remaining skills. Ended up trading in my marks of grace that I got from 99 agility and about 15 mil worth of amylase crystal. Well, nearly 16. And that's I think around 3,500 four dose stamina potions so we'll not be struggling for those for a very long time. Coming in with a rune crafting level that is 93, six left to go until 99. Apologies if the audio sounds a bit echoey. I've now moved into my new place and the room that I'm recording from is lacking furniture and things to dampen the sound a bit so that's why I sound like I'm recording from a cave. Well, I was not expecting that. A goblin champion scroll from, well, a goblin while I'm doing my uh, KC at Bandos. I'm pretty sure I've had one of those before. I do want to pick it up, but yeah, would have been better to get one of the hobgoblin ones because that's one that I still actually need. But kind of cool to see, one in 5k. Third Bandos chest plate, uh, KC 282. Having a really good trip, actually. This is my 22nd kill of the trip and still got another stamina dose so doing pretty well. No back to back drop there but that is a 23 kill trip which I'm pretty sure is a PB. As I said I only brought staminas for 20 kills, 5 uh, 4 doses so I managed 3 kills without a stamina dose which is pretty good. Alright got a master clue from a hard clue, what can we get? Well that is actually really bad. The teleports are kind of handy for clue scrolls but um, Yikes, 166k. Well, okay then, that is my third Goblin Champion Scroll and off the minion this time, which I certainly wasn't expecting. <laughs> yeah, very rare. And that is going to be 300 kills here at Bandos God Wars. Have to say, my kill count has absolutely flown up since, uh, well, one, I discovered this ranging method, which I'm really enjoying, and two, since they added the private instances for... Iron Men, it's been a big motivator because I don't have to fight for worlds now, which is uh, really nice and don't have to worry about being crashed either. Well, there we go, that is another drop. It is a God Sword Shard 3 from Grador. And there is another God Sword Shard, God Sword Shard 1. Elite clue from General Grador, what can we get? Ooh, 
don't know if I've had that one before. I'll check the house. And a master clue to do as well. Uh, I should have remembered I've already had the musketeer tabard. I'm missing the trousers and the hat. And from the master clue we are getting uh, a lot of wines of Zamorak and not a whole lot of anything else. And that is going to do it for today's episode guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Uh, it's good to be back with an Iron Man progress video to be honest. The league was a nice break but feeling reinvigorated and looking forward to going towards some of my goals for 2021. And in the next video certainly going to be continuing that long road to max with uh, some mining, runecrafting and smithing. We'll also continue with the God Wars and hope to get the Bandos boots and I'll probably head back to Sara God Wars as well to try and get the hilt and I suppose the Sara sword as well. It'd be nice to finish all of the items bar the pets. If you have enjoyed today's episode feel free to drop a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the Iron Man series feel free to subscribe as well. And until next time guys, take care.